Hello everyone and welcome back to Shonen Archive. I'm Woki, technically Purple Woki, and I'm here with Zenra. Hello. Technically Zenrado, and we're here <laughs> <laughs> for Shonen Archive. What's Shonen Archive? Well, I'm glad you asked. Shonen Archive is a series in which me and Zen dedicate our entire well-beings to watching every single uh, anime in a Shonen Jump possible that is available to us in some way or form, with our main series being Gintama and our other two being Ju uh, Jujutsu Kaisen and Kuroko's Basketball, but today is special because it's actually Christmas by the time we were releasing this. That's right, Zen, we're working on Christmas. Let's ignore the fact that we are not recording this on Christmas. <laughs> but <laughs> Nobody has to know. No, no, you're, you're breaking the, the secret that this show isn't live. <laughs> That, that it's actually happening right in front of the people right when it releases. Yeah, yeah. We're, we perform this on stage. Oh, of course. We're like the old-timey... Uh, we're like the bits at the end of um, uh, Killers of the Blood Moon. <laughs> the killers of, um, we're, report, we're performing this live right in front of you. All the sound effects, everything, all the everything you hear. So yeah, it's Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to you. And we're going to be celebrating Christmas by doing an actual Christmas arc from Gintama. Now, you'll don't be weirded out because we are missing... If you're someone going back and forth going like, wait, where's episodes Zazaza from Zazaza? Because it's Christmas time, we skipped ahead and did episodes 200 and episodes 201. It's, this first. is completely self-contained, so yeah, there's no yeah. spoilers or anything that yeah. we're going to get from it. So. Yeah, it shouldn't be a, too much of an issue. And I'll explain some stuff at the end, too, that is going to be a little bit helpful as we go into the other ones. But don't worry about it. So yeah, we're going to be talking about episodes 200 and 201, and this is the Santa arc. An entire episode based around... No longer are we getting 15-minute episodes two full episodes dedicated to santa claus <laughs> moving up in the world so let's get started starting with episode 200 which is santa claus red in blood red that's the title <laughs> of it yeah so uh christmas time is approaching kagura writes a letter to umi bozu uh and he's on a mission he's like i forget i forget what he does He's, he's just like, like a, a traveling bounty, he's hero a bounty guy. Yeah, he's, he's like a, a mercenary or something. Yeah, uh, he's like he's off doing a mission, and um, he's like war has broken out again. But he he wants to get home to see Kagura in time for Christmas. Uh, so he's talking about Santa Claus, um, and he's like the how he wears clothes of of deep red, and it it zooms out, and his clothes are all dyed red with blood from the mission <laughs> that he was just on. Um, then they are at Shimpachi's place, and it's him, Kagura, and Tay, uh, and they're there to like and have his a Christmas Kata. Eve celebration. Oh wait, no, not yet. My bad. No, not yet. Uh, and then Hasegawa shows up, uh, and he brings a cake, and it's a very little cake. It's like a teeny <laughs> tiny cake. Um, and he's like, "This, what kind of Christmas is this? Kagura's miserable. Don't worry, Daddy's coming." And he dresses up like Santa, and he's got like. Uh, his beard looks like the bit of his hair. That's like the little bit of like sideways hair that he had. That's what his beard looks like. It's just black, weird hair. Mm -hmm. um, and he goes, so he goes to jump out of the bushes as Santa, uh, but then Gintoki does the same thing and also jumps out dressed as Santa, and they're like staring each other down like, oh my god, there's another fucking Santa. What is this? <laughs> um, and then Kagura's like, wait a minute. There can't be two Santas. One of these Santas is a faker. So uh, they're trying to like figure out which one is which. Um, and then Kentucky's like, I knew someone named Santa once, but that guy was a creepy loser. <laughs> and then go, I forget what he, the joke. It was really funny. He was like, uh, it's like the disappointment of seeing Lord Frieza's final form. And it yeah. like goes through all of his <laughs> other forms. And then it shows the little normal one. <laughs> and um. then um, they decide that they're going to prove who the real one is. And they're going to fight. And then Kyube jumps in and is like, actually, I am Kyuta? Is that what she called herself? Uh, I am um, a Kyuta Claus. Yeah. Kyuta Claus. Yeah, she's Kyuta Claus. And then uh, Tay's like, that's not even hidden. That's just that's just Kyube, right? <laughs> like, they're not even... That's, <laughs> Kyube's not even mas masking her identity. Uh, and she's like, Tay, I brought you a lifetime supply of Bagan Daz ice cream. And then she gets hit by a rocket launcher from Kondo, who is also dressed like Santa. And he's like, no... Gorilla Claws has marked this territory as his own. Um, and then Sachan um, shows up and she's like, actually, I'm Santa. And she's like naked in the bag, like the Santa bag. She doesn't even claim um, she's Santa. She's just like, hey, where's Gintoki? <laughs> There's 
<laughs> just a, um, like at the store, and, she's clearly just here for one person. And then, I, and then eventually, she's like, "Hey, can, can someone like answer me? Because it's really cold. Because I'm not wearing anything in here." And then Gintoki kicks her into the pond, like still in the bag, and she starts like drowning in the pond. While they're all like, "We're not doing that." Um, and then they start. They decide that Kagura is going to hold a competition because she's like Santa Claus's. Uh, their job is to to make children's dreams come true. So we're going to have a contest to see which Santa is the real Santa. And it does like a drama cut to each of them. It shows like Gintoki and then Umibozu and Kondo and all that. And then it shows Sachan still drowning <laughs> in the pond. <laughs> and she's like, the bag's like flailing around and she's fucking dying. <laughs> and then and she does, she does get out eventually. And she puts on like a pink Santa suit. Um, and then the episode ends when Kagura decides her plan to, to, find the ultimate santa Mm -hmm. and yeah that's the end of this episode uh to give it the start here um i like the intro to this one it ends up kind of going into the ending of this arc but at the beginning of this episode that thing we talked about last episode of shonen archive about how there's this thing that crunchyroll cuts out which is the bit where they do the like our sponsors today uh for the op they show that this time Except for there's no sponsors, and then Kentucky's like, "Eh, there's no sponsors. What do you What do you mean there's no sponsors? <laughs> Are we doing that bad?" And like the 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 text is like saying, "Hey, go just go for it." It's like I don't know what you want from me, man. I'm not gonna. I can't make nothing out of nothing. <laughs> um, I thought that was funny. Uh, this bit where everyone when uh Cube shows up as Cuta Claus, it's really funny because it reminded me of when um. Katsura, he said, "You need to be out of here because our characters are too similar." When she when she shows up, she steals his bit because she's like, "That's clearly Kube." He's like, "I'm not Kube. I'm Cuta Claus." <laughs> doing the the I'm Katsura joke, doing there. She like straight up just steals it. I thought like I don't know if they're doing it on purpose of which she's just having to steal his bits, but I thought it was funny. Um, obviously the first form, the final form Frieza joke, talking about the letdown, because when they're, when they look at each other, they don't assume that that's Omi Bozo and that is Gintoki, they assume is, holy shit, that guy might be Santa. <laughs> well, they, they think one is Santa and one is a thief dressed as Santa to rob them. Yeah, that's <laughs> what, what they say. Yeah, that's what they say, but then when the, they're looking at each other and they're both dressed as Santa, I, at the beginning they think it's a thief. and oh, then oh, each other. Yeah, yeah they're each like, other. oh my god, is that actually Santa? <laughs> like, yeah. looking at the other one. And he's, like, looking, he's like, his beard isn't white. He actually has, like, a little mustache. Would Santa have a little mustache? <laughs> and then <laughs> that's when he brings up the Frieza thing, where he's like, this is kind of like when you see Final Form Frieza. It's such a letdown. <laughs> and and then you... Omibosis is funny, too, because he's like, uh, could this be him? This is clearly an old man weathered by years of studying the sword. <laughs> But it's got the skin of a 20-year-old. <laughs> What's going on? And then they just start fucking wailing on each other. And then the the people who are watching was like, why are you fighting? Because all this was happening in their internal monologue. Yeah, so, they were just thinking it. Yeah, so they went from going, ho ho, are you here from the Santa Association, sir? Ho ho, no, I'm Santa. And then they have this whole mind game with, with each other. And then they start immediately throwing hands with each other. <laughs> Which is funny. Um... Yeah, when Kyubei shows up, it's really good. And then when they do the, the Mayo 13 bit, where this is, the, the bit was funny there too, where they all just start saying like, I'm this 13, except for they're doing it with Santa, where it's like, oh yeah, I'm Ginta Claus. I'm Santa Claus. I think only one of them, so only Umi Bozo says, I'm Santa Claus. I think Gintoki literally says, I'm Ginta Claus. Yeah, he, yeah, he does say that he's Ginta Claus. <laughs> yeah, Kyubei, uh... Um, Cuta Claus, Gorilla Claus, and then Sachan never even says she's Santa Claus. She just says, I'm looking for Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> and that bit where she just shows up, oh, coming from the sky, and she's like clearly naked inside there waiting for him, and she's just like, please, I'm I'm so cold. And then he immediately fucking kicks her into the pond. In, into the freezing pond. Oh, it's so good. And then that bit, oh my god, when they're doing the whole, like, haha, I'm gonna win this contest because I'm Santa Claus, and they're showing off everyone when they <laughs> show her drowning, I die. 
<laughs> it was so funny because she doesn't even have like a help. She just goes, you just hear like, <laughs> like clearly she's just yeah. drowning in the bag. She's drowning, yeah. Because she lands like face down in the bag. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, and then I also like, because when Kagura says, I think it might actually be in the next episode, but they say like, because two of the, actually three of the Santa Clauses are not there for Kagura. Two of them are there for Otai, and then the other one is there for Gintoki. But she mentions that like, hey, if you're not actually Santa Claus, I'm going to have to assume that you're some kind of uh, pedophile, and I'm going to be calling the cops. And then they all go, oh man, the cops suck. I think even Kanda goes like, oh man, not the cops. And then Kiwi goes like, aren't you the cops? <laughs> like, what are you doing? You're the cops. She's going to be calling you the shits and Kumi on you. Um, I thought that was funny. But yeah, in general, it was a really nice setup for uh, a very silly Christmas uh, adventure stuff. And uh, I liked it. I thought it was funny. How do you feel, Zen? I liked it as well. I also thought it was funny. Um, I, I like the the little internal like conflicts where they're both like, shit, who, who else would try to sneak in here and be Santa? Fuck, is that actually Santa? Like, <laughs> um, I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, the whole thing, honestly, was pretty... The next episode's a lot funnier. Um, yeah. But this setup was, was funny. Yeah. And we should also say we're also big fans of christmas specials yes i i like holiday specials for anything in general yeah um, and so the same helped. same for me it is a it is a good time to sit down even when i was sitting i was like oh yeah this just feels right like watching it on pretty close to christmas and it just feels pretty good that's why i saw when i saw it on the schedule i was like actually no we should just move this forward <laughs> it would be much better for it yep very good episode there was also a uh, new ED in this one, which we don't get very much with it, but it does actually show up, I think, around one episode. Uh, it's pretty close to... We're actually going to be reaching it pretty close. It shows up in episode 190. So Yeah, I, I remember seeing this like, oh, damn, the, the ED changed. And I was like, oh, right, we skipped like 15 episodes. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll just bring it up. I thought it was actually pretty nice because it, it's uh, the Ginpachi Sensei ED, and I think it's pretty nice with the news that the Ginpachi Sensei is getting an anime. So I felt kind of yeah. just like right uh but it was also fun to see some of the other characters that usually don't show up in the eds and these eds like they have takatsuji dressed up as like a high schooler like to make them look like the punks of the group same with kagura's brother i thought that was cool pretty nice ed uh yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad yeah it's very what, not what, my favorite what, but it wasn't what, bad with the way that episode 201 goes it kind of has a different <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it sure does. Doesn't yeah, it? it does. We'll we'll get into it, but let's go over to episode two hundred one now. Episode two hundred one. Everybody's a Santa. Go ahead, Zen. So, uh, so this is like uh, they're 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 gonna have a contest, and they're each gonna like tell a story of why they're the real Santa. Um, so Kondo's story is first, and they're like we are just a normal family in a normal town having a normal Christmas. And uh, it's it's Tay and Kagura are like mother and daughter. And um, Shimpachi is the Christmas tree. And they decorate him by hanging more glasses from his ears. <laughs> so he's just <laughs> wearing more glasses. Um, They're also American. Yes, they are, which is funny also. Um then they, they there's like a pie that they leave out for Santa and it gets eaten by Hasegawa the cockroach, um, and then Kagura was like, oh, I remember a long time ago my father died at war because he wanted to get me a pie. Um, <laughs> yeah. And it was like the meat pie I'd always wanted. He, my dad got it for me. That his body was clutching it um, as he, as he died. <laughs> Uh, and then they, 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 like, have the pie still, and it's, like, moldy and disgusting. Um, and it, it's eaten. So they, they they are like, oh, no, instead of Santa Claus coming, a thief must have come in and eaten the pie. And Kagura's, like, so hurt because her, her dead father's pie is eaten. Uh, and then she finds Merry Christmas spelled in shit in their toilet. <laughs> and she's like, oh, my God, Santa, actually, it was Santa the whole time. And then that's where the story ends. Yeah, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the story yeah. ending with Shimpachi wailing on Kondo saying, what kind of fucking gift is that? Yeah, what kind of story is that? And then they hold up, for some reason Hasegawa is also in the voting for which one is Santa. Um, and they all hold up their signs and Kagura gives it a six because she likes that she was in the story. 
Hasegawa gives it a 30 because his ex- explanation is wherever you see one cockroach, there's always 30 more cockroaches. <laughs> and then um, Tay's score is die, <laughs> which was really funny. Um, so then uh, it's Kyubei's story is the next one. Mm-hmm. Um, and Kagura is like a needy girl um, on the street trying to sell pachis, which is the, their version of Christmas trees, because he's the tree again. Uh, and he's trying to sell it for for money to for her abusive father, alcoholic dad, which is Hasegawa. Who um, turns out to like, just be a to... cockroach again. <laughs> it's the cockroach again. Um, and she's like, oh, I'm going to freeze out here, so I need to use the pachi to keep warm. And Shinpachi's like, I understand. You can. And she just starts beating the shit out of him. And she's like, yeah, I'm moving my body around and it's bringing up my body temperature. Um, and then Kyubei is up on the rooftop and they're talking about something about like the Pachi can grant like a Christmas wish. And Kyubei wants the Pachi to make Tay appear and she like jumps down. And then in the next morning, it shows that they're both like sleeping in the snow, but they're warm because they spent all night beating the shit out of Shimpachi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then they give a score for this one as well. But their scores are like they, they stop. I uh, know. Um, fuck, what was the scores? They start getting really weird. I think like Ote says, like my score goes to the the background actor. It really seemed like she was doing it because for some reason in this story she plays all the background actors who are denying yeah, the little well, it's, girl. It's always like Kagura and and her mm-hmm. <laughs> is are in like all the stories. Um. Okay, so after Kyubei, it's uh, Sachan, and this one's like takes like no time at all. It's like, uh... oh no, wait, this is all one long ass story. I think. Yeah, it's it is. Sachan's, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sachan's so this, is taking... at first, it's just like, oh, uh, Shimpachi's laying there, and Shimpachi's actually the main character for this one. For the yeah, first she 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 requested to be her him instead of her. For yeah, her. instead of Kagura, um, and then she busts in. And she's like, oh, and she starts being like, oh, you want me to, to whip you? You want to whip me? What are we doing? Which who wants to do what? Um, <laughs> she's very matter of fact, but it's like, all right, what yes, are we doing here? She's just straightforward with it. Um, and then Tay comes in and she's like, what the hell are you doing? And then they're like, oh my God, wait a minute. Your brother's room's all sticky. And they're like stuck to the ground. <laughs> um, and then there, uh, it's just Kagura takes over as the lead again. And she's got the, the cockroach and she's like throwing them away. And then she's on her way to school, and she bumps into two Santa Clauses in, like, Kuwabara's school uniform. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then they both transfer to her class, and they're like, we're both Santa Claus. Uh, and everyone else in the competition is also in this class, and Hasegawa is the teacher. And then Kagura hits Hasegawa with, like, a slipper, and then it turns out he's a cockroach. <laughs> Um, and then eventually she reveals that she actually is in love with the cockroach man. Um, because he's always there for her when she's depressed. He's like, he's like hanging from the walls and shit when she's like lonely. Um, and it's literally just a cockroach with Hasegawa's face on the front of it is what it is. Mm. Um, and then they're at a, at a restaurant and then they're all like, hang out. It's like, uh, Kondo, Kibe, Sachan, Kagura, and Tay are all there. Um, and then Tay has, like, a, it's like a hat, I think, or a scarf or something. It's some it's something she's knitting. I thought it was a mitten. Um, and it has, maybe it's mittens. It's something. Yeah. And it has the letter G on it. Um, and so Kondo's like, that's got to be me, Gorilla, right? And then Kyubei and is like, I don't know, who, who is that? And then Sachan's like, you're trying to take Gintoki. And they all, like, <laughs> run out upset. Uh, and then Kagura is like, oh, my God, that stands for the Japanese word for cockroach, whatever it was. Yeah, the, it um, ends, the the way they pronounce cockroach starts with a G. It's like Gordatro or something like that. Yeah, um, and so she thinks that they're like romantic rivals over the cockroach guy, um, because Kagura also has something with a G on it. Um, and then Kagura and Ote see um, like Merry Christmas outside, and they go to give their presents to one another and then they realize that the g stood for girlfriend (laughs) instead of cockroach and they end up dating i guess at the end um and everyone's like wow you two 
really were Santas all along because they're the ones that like convince them to, to give the gifts to each other. Uh, and they're like, no, the real the real Santas were those two. It was Kagura and Tay the whole time, and they all get really pissed off. And they're like, what kind of fucking story is this? The fuck is wrong with you? Um, and they all, like, take their, like, Santa bags and, like, we're fucking out of here. This is a waste of time. And then as they're leaving, Kagura goes, everyone, wait. And it's, like, this wholesome little moment for a second. And then she goes, Merry last episode. <laughs> and then it plays the credits. And then the credits say, we'll, one day we'll meet again. <laughs> It's uh, yeah, it, it 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 the 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 it's like thank you kindly for the four years of support. See you again someday. Dot dot dot. And this ending has like almost close to every character. It even has the 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 fat girl that every time she shows up, they make fun of her because she's fat. Like yeah, the, the, literally, all she's there to do is just be told that she's fat. Like that's yeah. The, that's the shrine maidens, character. like almost everyone is in there <laughs> from all of them. The the sisters that Shimpachi uh, was pen palling with, I think they're in there too. It's literally close to everyone that would be considered some form of a maker. The flower guy who we have not seen in over a hundred and fifty something episodes. <laughs> the flower Amanto, the only Amanto that actually looks like uh, an alien outside of Catherine, who is a cat girl. Uh, yeah, and that's the end of episode two hundred one, and that's the end for the, the this this Christmas arc. So, uh, yeah, this episode is really good. It's really funny. Um, I really like these these bits where they tell stories. <laughs> they the stories always go like the last time they did this was when the um when they did it for the other contest this is funny enough the second contest as they've done where they've told stories the one where they were talking a whole bunch about um studio ghibli films and journey to the west i really liked it there and i liked it here with all the different santas all the different santa stories um i also like that they have this weird through line that starts when it gets to the final story uh where they said actually all of them were inner interplaced with each other a real Marvel Universe type of... Actually, this always existed in every single universe. <laughs> These were all interconnected stories all along. Um, I also really like the... So in the Kondo story, there's a bit where uh, when Tay says someone eats the pie, she's like, oh, you must have been hit by a thief, not Santa Claus. And then just, just to sh show that they're from America, she goes, God damn it! No, <laughs> she's no, no. Oh, I remember what she says because she doesn't say "God damn it." I don't think she says. Um, she says, "Oh my god!" But the way she says it is so fucking funny because it's not like the the JoJo one where it's like, "Oh my god!" She literally goes like, "Oh my god!" Though <laughs> like, it's, it's so fucking funny because I remember is. her saying it and dying. It's really good. We're a, a big fan of Japanese people speaking English. It's always yes, funny. It's so funny. Uh, she also says a couple other words, but the first one is just so good that it's hard for me to remember them at the same level as that. She says, like, four other ones. It's really, she just, like, shotguns them just to show that she's in yeah, Texas. Yeah, she's, yeah, not in Japan. Yeah. It's super funny. That's really good. Um, I also really like the bit at the end of the condo one where uh, Shinpachi's like, what, what's wrong with you? Like, what kind of fucking story is that? And Kondo's like, clearly you don't understand that what I did for her. <laughs> the <laughs> suffering I went through for Kagura in that story. <laughs> Eating the meat pie freeder. <laughs> yeah, it, it, well, because it was like the rotten meat pie. It was like yeah. nasty and covered in fungus and stuff. Absolutely and he disgusting. Was like, I freed her from it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is funny. Um... I really like, oh, the bit also where she's talking about her father is maybe one of the funniest line deliveries where he's like, on Christmas Day five years ago, I didn't I didn't receive the present I asked for. Instead, I received a notice that my daddy had been killed in action. And then the next line after that is Shibachi going like, this turned really dark. Uh, where they're talking about the war stuff and then you see what happened to him where he got like, he didn't get like shot. He got literally like, hit by a bunch of different meat pies and that's how he was killed yeah he was like laying under a giant pile of them yep and that's how he was taken out um 
I also like the bit where they're thinking like, oh, this when they're showing Hasegawa before when you think he's gonna be playing the father, he's like, this is a very annoying father, and then they kill him because like, ah, stupid cockroach, <laughs> eating the meat pie, and then they keep doing this every single time where you think Hasegawa is gonna be playing an actual character, and then it's just the reveal is that he's the cockroach. <laughs> Like they do in the next war, they think he's gonna be the, he's like the abusive father, but actually he's just a cockroach. They think he's the sensei. Actually, no, he's a cockroach here too. <laughs> every single yeah, one of them. He's the cockroach in every single one. It's really yeah. funny. Uh, I like them doing their adaptation of Little Matchstick Girl, which is a classic Christmas story. Probably one of the saddest Christmas. It's the one where the little girl. I don't know what the message. I don't know. Uh, Charles Anderson just fucking hates children. Where the, the, the little matchstick girl story is, this little girl fucking dies on Christmas with her matchsticks. It's a very sad story. It is obviously not in the same level there. And I like it that every time they punch him, it's like the Pachi gives us exactly what he wants. It's food, and then it's just because Shimpachi is throwing up because of how much she's just like fucking throwing haymakers at him. <laughs> He's literally throwing up all his food all over the place. Yeah. It's funny, too, because um, it's not, like, just comedic punches. She's, like, boxing his ass, like, throwing body blows and, like, like shadow boxing. Yep. And the whole time she's like, ah, I feel like my soul is overcome with, like, <laughs> warmth and vigor. And he's like, how can you say that? Yeah, uh, it's, it's really good. And then when QB joins in, she's just like, all right, let's go. And then when he hits her at the end, he's like, what the hell were you thinking there at the end? And all you did was abuse the Pachi. He's like... I think it was actually a very heartfelt story. We both survived. <laughs> the Pachi gave its life for us. Uh, he also It's also funny in the beginning where he's just like, what the hell's a Pachi? And then when she says, like, I'm going to have to use the Pachi, and then she's like, I understand. If it will keep you alive, you can use me. And then she starts punching him and goes like, wait, Pachi means punching bag? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Uh, the setup for Tachons I also was fun, was funny because the second she says, "Hey, can it be um, Shimpachi on this one?" You all like the red flags are immediately up about why she would want to switch. As soon as she speaks, yeah. As soon as she says that, she's like, "All right, we're gonna let you go for it." And then when she does it, and she does her like uh, literal like beginning of a horror manga thing, or like uh, Lu Chan or something. Where she, like, busts through the door and she's like, Oh, hello, I'm a robot made from space. <laughs> what can I... I think she smashes through, like, his window into his bedroom. Yeah, and directly on top of, like, laser-guided yeah. to be right on top of him. And uh -huh. she even does the whole bit where she's like, I'm ready to serve you, master. And then when she's, like, naming all the things that she's willing to do to, do to him, it's like, all right, what are, we, what are we doing here? Are you going to – you want me to hit you? You want you want to hit me? You want to make it so that it looks like you're going to hit it, but then I'm not actually going to hit it? And then that's when um, – oh, Yeah, what, what was the one that she said that was really funny? It was like, um, do you want to hit me but make it look like you're really reluctant to do <laughs> Yes, make it look like you're really reluctant, like you don't want to hit me. Like you don't want to hit me, but you still do it, yeah. But you still do. And then when Otai comes bursting in, and she's like, I knew it. Get your dirty fucking hands off my brother. And then she's like, oh my god, it's Otai, your stepsister. She's like, nah, hell no. No, I'm his actual sister, you pervert. Yeah, yeah. Uh... <laughs> And yeah, the bit there where she's like, it's all sticky everywhere. He's like, Shimpachi, what have you been doing in there? He's like, I can't do this all myself. I don't know what you think I'm doing in here, but it's literally impossible for me to make this room that sticky by myself. Um, and they get thrown away because it's a roach motel again. And yeah, and that bit with the next one when they go to, when they're doing the, when they do the bit, because not only do they transition, they transition away from what is typically a boy's like uh, harem manga into a girl's romance novel it's where she's in like format but it's like the girl focused on the girl yeah it's 100 percent. and then she's just like running it's even doing the classic like oh yeah i'm running to school and i bump into the guy and the guy in this case is our two santa clauses <laughs> and they're literally wearing like the like even umibozo has the uh the pompadour from kuwabara even like they look like kuwabara but then he also is rocking the pompadour um and yeah all the all the school stuff when they go to uh, the, where they go to like bootleg McDonald's, they go to Nick Donald's, and at this Nick point, <laughs> both uh, Gintoki <laughs> and Umubozo have given up on trying to take over the lead Santa role, and they're both just like, eh, whatever, do what you need to do. <laughs> they're like literally just defeated on the table. Um, it's pretty funny. 
And I like the reveal at the end where they're like, the G can stand for girlfriend. And they're like, yay, we win in the end. And then when they cut back to the end of the story and they give them themselves perfect marks, because they're saying, oh, we were so good. We win the contest. We are yeah, Santas. Like, it was us. We're the Santas. Yeah. Yeah. That reveal is like, we weren't the Santa Claus. They are the Santa Claus. <laughs> And it cuts to them, like, holding each other was as they are Santa Claus. So funny. It's so good. And, yeah, that the end bit where she says, like, Merry Last Episode. And at this point, it really seems like it was a commitment to the bit. But then I remember that after this, they did not release any anime for, like, an additional year. And then they started doing that weird, like, rerun of stuff where they were just, like, Here's some of the best episodes with a new OP and new ED to it. So, if I was watching Gintama, I would assume my series was in trouble after this episode. <laughs> like, uh, it would have seemed real dire, but they do a real good job of making it seem like, yeah, this is the uh, final episode, I guess. It really does kind of come off as like a, thanks everyone, we'll see you guys whenever we see you again. And then the fact that they actually legitimately left for an extremely long time is really funny, but also I bet if I was watching it, I would be literally shitting bricks. <laughs> thinking, Yeah, it was, it was very much like not played jokingly, like at all. It didn't feel like a joke. The ED played, and it showed, like, the whole cast. And it was like, one day, we'll meet again. Like, a very stereotypical, the anime is over thing. Yeah, it even shows, like, a zero to show that there's nothing left. It's, yeah. a, it's a hell of a way to end your season, I'll give you. They're getting better <laughs> yeah. and better at assuming that this show is never <laughs> returning. Every end of season bit, they get better and better to make you feel like it. And, uh... Thankfully, we know that there's more, but yeah, definitely if I was watching back then, I would definitely feel like, no, no, this series is done, man. They keep losing their time slot. (laughs) It seems like uh, things are not going so well, but yeah. Real good episode. I like this episode. How do you feel, Zen? Uh, It was really good. I really liked it. It was very, very funny. Yeah, it's a good uh, Christmas time of also vaguely relating to Christmas, (laughs) but it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. They try and uh, give one to saying the gifts you give are the true gifts of of Christmas. And it's like, no. Oh, I also forgot the beginning bit of the previous episode where they talk about, like, how to get your parents to approve of the thing, to let them know that you want something from, like, a game catalog or something. It's like you have to be very, like, uh, coy with it. You can't just outright say, this is what I want for Christmas. You got to kind of, because you know it's going to be over expensive. You got to look at it longingly, but kind yeah, of understand. <laughs> Yeah, get them to slowly come around to the idea of how bad you want it. Yeah, be very good at your pronunciations because old people have trouble hearing. It's like, oh man, the new TS is on sale. <laughs> like, and then they show like a the the their version of a Nintendo DS <laughs> with the dual screen and everything, and then like a Game Boy Advance SP to the side. Pretty good. Yep. The uh, this is a good two episode arc. I feel like it's actually pretty good for the Christmas season. It was kind of sad not yeah, to see. Yeah, it was very funny. Yeah, kind of sad not to oh, see. We the... completely forgot the signs at the end when Kagura and at the la- the end of the um the last story uh-huh. where they decide that they're um oh, that they are the the Santas and Kagura's sign says I'm Santa and Tay's sign says I'm Santa and then Hasagawa says I'm Kagura. <laughs> 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 yeah, his, the funny thing is that his cockroach storyline ends with him dying because they don't go to see him. He gets like killed by two random schoolgirls in cockroach form <laughs> because they were fumigating the school so that there would be no more cockroaches into the next year. That's why they were so quickly working to get their middens done and they were getting help from Santa Gintoki and Sama, Santa Umabozo to finish it. Um, but yeah, it's really funny. The I am Santa. The sign bit is really fun. Sign humor is hilarious they've really perfected it with all their times using elizabeth yes yes elizabeth is very good at it yeah they've uh they've mastered the art for it but yeah that is episode 200 and 201 a nice little wrap-up of the santa arc which is a very nice arc which is going to be really funny because we're now we're going to go back and see those episodes because now i'm actually kind of curious what the hell happens in those episodes because out of context some of those scenes seem wild yes (laughs) They really do. 
Yeah, they really do. So I'm looking forward to going back and seeing through those. So let me just do a quick uh, check on what is going to be here for next time on Shonen Archive. It's not going to be next week. Actually, is it going to be next week? Or uh, Zen, let's talk about this. Next week is the 27th, which is technically two days after Christmas. How are you up for next week? I I would be fine. Um days after christmas that's no problem okay i i would be too so that should be no problem so next week then we can do episodes 185 to 189 which will feature uh one moment because i have accidentally clicked on the wrong the wrong thing somehow um uh 185 which is a, a standalone two episode excuse me um, the Rokaku arc, which is a tiny little mini arc, and then two other standalone episodes. So we'll be getting through that, and then after that, it will be a four episodes as we go for episode 190 to 194, and then the final bits for this season will be 195 to 199, which we will do from two weeks from now, uh, three weeks from now, and that will officially be the end of season four, and we will start... We will very quickly talk about uh, Yoriniku Gintama, which is I talked about previously, which was that really weird um, rerun of Gintama that had like the best Gintama episodes, but then they oh, had right. they had new OPs and EDs. So I've with some help with some help I was able to compile them and find them, so we can at least look at those and talk about them because it's also really wild that they made new OPs and EDs for what is essentially a rewatch. Yes, that's crazy. It is, and then we will start sometime in the new year, the new season of Gintama, which is going to be five, and that'll start from episode two hundred two to two sixty five. So, looking forward, I think next year. We finish Gintama. I think I think we're getting pretty close to it, Zen. I think we're gonna get Yeah, yeah, definitely. Before next year 2025, for, I hope so. Yeah, exactly. Before <laughs> twenty twenty five when the new Gintama anime is coming out and we have to talk about that, we will finish this in twenty twenty four. Uh so get ready for that. I'm not a hundred percent ready to actually end Gintama, but I'll be interested to see. We need to talk about this also off screen. I remembered it's related to the ending just that's just to remind me after this after we're done with this but we have to have some discussions about the actual end of gintama and now we want to do it uh oh it, yeah that's probably a good point yeah yeah there's some stuff that i want to that might actually be stepping into your territory because on your side of things let's talk about uh what's going on on our channels if you want to follow zen you can go to zen's channel where he does shonen and chill where he talks about the weekly shonen jump mangas and it's ongoing uh how's it going over in weekly shonen jump lands then i understand uh, that you've been good. picking fights with news exorcist fans since we last went off air yeah, yeah the, that's really bad it's very not good um that's just kind of the, the lay of the land here yeah it's mediocre uh <laughs> you heard it here it's mediocre so go ahead and read it up so you can hear zed <laughs> read, complain about so it good. You'd probably like it. It's it's like a visual novel, basically. I would uh, like it. That sounds like kind of like for me. <laughs> Actually, funny enough, when I saw those screenshots of News Exorcist that you posted, I'm like, that's pretty mild. But also, I'm kind well, of intrigued. Well, it's totally mild. But, like, it tries to build itself up as, like, a... It's the new Exorcist thing. You know, mm -hmm. like, it's the new... It's the new Monster Slayer. But it's really just, like... Aren't I a sad little weirdo? Don't I really like boobs? And that's like the whole thing. That's like the mm. whole, the whole, sh the whole show. But it's not is, fully is it? dedicated to that. It's pretending. No, it, it it won't go all the way into like, Coomerville. It it will fight you on it. It's uh, not like that, uh, it, that. It's an Exorcist series. But it's, it's not. not. <laughs> it's not like Yuna in the Haunted Hot Springs, where Yuna's full ass is shown from a window in ghost form, and the main character goes up and goes, "That's weird." No, is that a no, butt yeah, up the closest in the air? you get is the accidental uh, Tata. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like it's not going full ham. Which at this point, the uh, harm scale that I use for Shonen Jump is uh, the eleven scale is Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs, <laughs> and so everything yeah. is judged on the scale of that. And from the post you showed, that looked like a kind of like a three. So maybe yeah, I'll read it, it for next week. I, you know, I think actually, it's just if that I... it feels so like fraudulent to me because like. <laughs> It's one of those series, too, where it's, like, really stereotypical, like, harem thing, where it's like, hey, here's the main character. 
he fucking sucks at everything. He's awful and useless, and you should really hate him because he doesn't like he has no value as a human being. Mm. It's like the low tier god. Like you should, <laughs> you should <laughs> keep yourself safe now, kind of guy. I get um, you. But then, like, there's a million hot girls, and they're all like, "This is the greatest guy ever." Oh my god! And it's like I want to. Some, someone here to put it in perspective uh-huh. someone referred to new A's exorcist as a love letter to otaku kumer culture mm. dead serious like that's, saying it like that was something to be that the series should be very proud of was that yeah, it's, it t- represents t- you know typically uh, if you want to be a love letter Kumer's to something culture. you should actually pick a genre like you can choose like oh i want to really be kind of like love hina like if you that you don't actually want to go like broad with it you want to pick something where it's like i want to be a specific love letter to this if you're just doing it to the stuff that's not actually a love letter to the series itself Um, yeah no not at all (laughs) yeah not at all it's it's really weird but it's kind of like you can oh man what's the best way of putting it like like for example you can like you can tell when someone is making fun of dragon ball because they're making fun of what they assume dragon ball is and they can say it's a homage to dragon ball but what it actually is is that you have a lazy understanding of what dragon ball is and you're just kind of using this as a blanket term to say uh you know it's kind of like a homage to that but the actual people who care about it are the ones who can actually cut deep and you understand that that de- <laughs> they cut deep because they they lived it, they love it, <laughs> they know it. It's kind of like it's kind of like that. That's where I'm kind of going with this. Is that there's a difference between being a fraud and being real with it. So who knows? Maybe next time we do Shonen Archive, I'll if I, I I promise you this: if I read News Exorcist, I gotta have to read Kagurabachi so I can do both. <laughs> I can't in good Please conscience. Do. Please do. Hey, I'm gonna be really upset when you like New A more because it's like exactly your kind of genre thing that you like. I'm yeah. gonna be very upset when that happens. But Kagurabachi is really good. Read it. Ah, uh, uh, to be fair, the last time you told me to read something was um, ah uh, man, it was Yoru? I cannot pronounce it right now. The sensei, the fat man, does funny things with his family. Fat man does funny. Th- oh, Sakamoto. It's not Sakamoto days. Which is yeah. really fucking good, and I was also heartbroken with everyone when I saw I did not get an anime announcement. Nope, it sure <laughs> from, didn't. From yeah, Sakamoto Fest. Days bangs. It is. Um, I assume no, it's Bunchy's because... the best newcomer in a very long time, so yeah. I, I think you'd like it. I, I'll, I'll be sure to check it. But yeah, if you want to catch up with all the ongoings of the latest Shonen Jump anime, then always go check out Shonen and Chill. If you want to check out what's currently going hot in Fago, you can always go to my channel. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm going to release some other videos. I, I, I sometimes remember to be like, you know what, I should release a video of me playing Hello Kitty. And then I release it, and I'm surprised that anyone likes it, but that's just the effect of Fago, baby. We have so many more people. We have so many new eyes coming to the channel that they're going like i guess this guy's just playing hello kitty let me just click it real quick and it's doing better than i thought so uh same as going for shonen archive and you can all thank it to uh big daddy Fago and the trickle down economics which is that eventually other people go to this show because of this one because they're subscribed to me and they're surprised being like hey why is this guy talking about gintama thank you guys very much and thank you very much for every the dedicated people who actually watch shonen archive Ah, uh, the show's really fun to do. Um, and yeah, that's it for the Christmas time. It's the Christmas season, Zen. Why don't you say goodbye to everyone from Christmas? Say a Christmas goodbye, Zen. Do your famous Christmas goodbye <laughs> to end the show. <laughs> uh, ma- Merry Christmas, everybody. Good Goodbye and have a wonderful holiday season. Um, that... Is that that's probably it? That's probably it. Ho ho ho, <laughs> everyone! <laughs> Merry, <laughs> Merry Christmas! Perfect, you fucking rocked it. I could not have asked for a better ending. <laughs> and that's sincere. That's from the heart. I'm not new exercising you right now. <laughs> it's no bullshit. <laughs> <laughs>